Hello everybody and welcome to Corel Painter Lite. This is part four in a series of videos on getting started with uh, Corel Painter Lite. And my name is Skip Allen. In the last video, we did some important things. We looked at uh, the preferences and we also looked at brush tracking. Both of those are very important, especially brush tracking. So now we can get back to looking at the workspace that we uh, had started in the last video. I want to come back up here to the top, and as you know, this top area is the menu bar, and all of these contain commands that you'll want to use with Painter. You know that this is the brush selector, and you know that this is a brush uh, property bar when a brush has been selected. Um, but I haven't mentioned this right here, which is called Recent Brushes. You have another uh, Recent Brushes inside of the Brush Selector, and then right at the top you have Recent Brushes. Um, okay, so what does that mean? Well, every time you paint with a brush, let's go over here and we'll go to something different. Let's go to Sponges, and we'll get the Dent Sponge. Okay, there's my Dent Sponge. And I can paint with that this dense sponge. Okay, once I paint with it, it pops up on the recent brushes. Now, a lot of times I find I'm only using four or five, six brushes in painting, and if that's the case, those four or five or six will be up here easily, easily uh, accessible without having to go through uh, the brush selector bar. So I'm on the sponge, I can switch to thick round, I can go to fairy dust and so forth. Useful. And it, like I said, it is also here when you open up the brush selector. This item over here is referred to as the toolbox. We've already looked at a couple of tools in it. We'll take a gander at some others a little bit later. Over on this side, we have the Navigator panel. The Navigator panel shows you your complete um, image right here. Uh, if you, it also will give you information about your image. See, this one tells me it's a thousand pixels by a thousand pixels by a hundred ppi. Uh, as you, you know, if you want to to increase or decrease the size of the image, you can. Just use that slider like that. Now, if it goes too big, you'll begin to see a little red thing here, which will show you this is what's, what's visible uh, in your document window, and the rest of the stuff is not visible. It's a pretty cool tool. It really is. Okay, so we come back down. Now, the next uh, set of Panels. This is called a panel. If it's one tab inside, uh, nested inside here, it's referred to as a panel. Here we have one, two, three tabs all nested inside. So when you have more than one panel nested inside like this, the whole image or the whole item is referred to as a palette, and each one of the tabs inside is considered a panel. Okay, and then the, down below here, we have the Layers panel. Now, this is what we need to look at now. So, but I'm not quite. <laughs> I always think of something at the last minute. What I want to tell you about this is that right now, you are docked in a, uh, a docking system. Here, over here on the, the uh, left side and on the right side. You can pull these out of the dock by just grabbing the, uh, say like grabbing the layer title, and you can just pull it right out, and then you can have it over next to your painting if you want. Some people don't like to work with the docking, so if you don't like that, fine, you can just take it out. If you want to put it back in, you just slide it back over, and see that little blue line that happened? Well, that tells me it's going to link up to the bottom of the last uh, palette or panel. Uh, if you want to take out all of this palette, you want to grab the gray area over here away from the name tabs, and you just drag the whole thing out. And now you've got your color set libraries, your, you know, everything back out. You can also slide it back in using the same technique of uh, moving it with the gray. 
you can move one of these out by itself by grabbing the title and just bringing it out. If you want to put it back in, drag it back in. But now instead of using that blue line up at the top of the palette, you want to look for a little vertical blue line. You see that vertical blue line right next to the tab? That's where this is going to go. So if I let go of this, it fills in uh, right after the color. Uh, you have color panel, mixer panel, and color set libraries. Okay, now let's get to this layers. Um, I'm going to pull the layers out to show you how this works. You can make these panels larger by coming to the side. You can do them out at an angle like that, or you could do it straight out this way. Whatever works for you uh, uh, is fine. Now, let's go up here to the Option button, and you'll see that we have multiple options, which are not really available to us at the moment. Okay. So let's go over here and remember to delete something on, on a layer. You can go Control A or Command A for the uh, Mac, and you can go Backspace for the PC or Delete for the Mac. And when you do that, it deletes everything on the canvas layer. Okay, now, if you come down to the bottom of your layer panel, you'll see that you have two icons. One is new layer, and the other one is drop layer, meaning that you just drop it from wherever it is down to the canvas. And then you have delete, which allows you to delete a layer. Okay, so let's add a layer. There we go. We've got a uh, layer added. And let's just paint on that layer. So we're going to go and get... Uh, Let's see, let's get the oily bristle brush. I'm going to set it back to its original. And let's see what we're going to do with this. Um, you know what? I'm going to not get that. I'm going to go to the thick and thin pen. And uh, I'll take a black color. And we'll just quickly do something. What shall I do fast? <laughs> All right, let's let's uh, let's just do a real simple flower. I'm making these petals kind of weird on purpose. <laughs> okay, so we've painted that on the top layer. Now look what or I've drawn that on the top layer. Let me come back down to the to the next layer, uh, to the canvas layer, and I'm going to add another layer. Now as long as this is green, that means I'm painting on that layer. Now let's go to the uh, I tell you what, let's go to the coarse airbrush, and we'll pick up. Um, let's go in here, and uh, I'm going to grab this little sample color. It's the same thing as your uh, dropper tool, and I'll sample a color in here, and I'm going to get this kind of gray, yellowy color. You'll see it here that it's been selected. And so I can come here and just begin to paint with this uh, airbrush like that. Real simple. And uh, let's then go to another color. We'll go to a lighter yellow. We'll kind of put some of that out here. Like that. Now let's go to a kind of darker yellow. And we'll put some right in the center. Okay. Now that's all in layer two. I'm going to add another layer. And I'll grab this oily bristle. And we'll start with this kind of dark brown. And I'm going to come in here and add that little dark brown. And I'm going to add a little bit of this kind of green color. And I'll blend that in a bit. And then I'll come up here and get a stronger orange, dark orange. And we'll bring that in here as well. Just put some in like that. Okay.
Now, all I've done here, this is what I want to show you, the power of layers. You can take this layer right here that I'm currently on, and I can turn it off. And see, it's disappeared. So I can even delete the layer. So what this means is if I start working on a layer that over the top layer, I wasn't really sure how this was going to work. Well, then I can test it out, and I can just delete the layer, you know, and then if I don't like it. This, the same thing up here, now you don't have to be on the layer to turn the eye off. This top layer that I see was my drawing layer. And probably at the end, I don't want that drawing. Now, I could have put that drawing on the same canvas that I was working on. Uh, and then it begin, you begin to lose the drawing. But I kind of wanted to see how, how it works. So when you think about layers, just think about things like, um, um, what would I think about? It's like layers of glass or mylar or something where you paint on a particular layer. Where you paint is opaque. Where you don't paint is transparent and you can see through it. And if you want, you can also reduce the opacity of the layer. This is that brown layer there. And I have an opacity uh, bar here at the top. And I can just reduce that opacity until it's very, very light. See how versatile this is? So layers are a wonderful thing. Now, I might want to delete that layer uh, or turn off the layer one with the, the lines on it. And if I hold my shift key down, I can select more than one layer. See, holding the shift key down, I've selected these two layers. Now, if I hit the drop, those two layers are dropped to the canvas layer. Okay? So, and I can still open my drawing, but these two layers have been put together. So, in the end, you can drop all your layers to one canvas or keep them open. Okay. All right. So that's all we want to say about layers at the moment. You'll get more into that as you work. Okay. Let's end this video and go to the next one. Bye-bye.